Greetings and salutations. This is almighty Christopher Daniels, sometimes known as the fallen angel, but always known as the greatest wrestler in the world. Your mom's favorite wrestler, your dad's favorite wrestler, the world's favorite wrestler. I'm also a paragon of virtue and inspiration to children everywhere and the man with the rear that makes the girls cheer. And while you're watching me, I'm telling you, you're also watching top 10 wrestling. So congratulations. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome to 10 wrestlers who need to return to WWE in 2017. Let's see it, 300 likes and get right onto the list. Number 10, Rey Mysterio. Let's face it, Rey Mysterio doesn't exactly need to return to WWE. The thing with Rey is that he's in his 40s. It's not necessarily needed for him to go back to WWE because he's already done everything he can in the WWE. Number 9, Gail Kim. The Raw Women's Division needs competition because right now it's only Charlotte, Sasha Banks and Bayley and Nia Jax is kind of there. I mean, Emma's never going to debut, Summer Rae is injured, Paige is injured. You need Gail Kim. Gail Kim was treated so poorly during her time in WWE before, and it, it, she deserves more. She deserves redemption. Number 8, Ethan Carter III. Since leaving the WWE, Derek Bateman, or EC3 as he's known as now, has gone from a lower mid Carter to a main eventer, not winning any championships in WWE to TNA World Champion. He deserves another run in the WWE, but this time right at the top. Number 7, Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd is still with the WWE. WWE have not cleared him. He's been gone for years. Just let him come back. Just let Tyson Kidd come back. He's waited for so long. He loves wrestling. Just let him come back. Seriously, it's annoying me. Just let him come back. He doesn't deserve this. His team with Cesaro was awesome. I would love to see that team again. Number six, John Morrison. John Morrison has been doing the best work of his career working at Lucha Underground as Johnny Mundo. He is easily their top star and just doing big and better things as the years go on. And what place is bigger than the WWE? He should be brought back and he should be, you know, maybe a little higher on the card, like from the mid carder to maybe like the upper mid card. Number five, Drew Galloway. Since leaving the WWE, Drew Galloway has been tearing it up in places such as TNA and, well, WCPW. Drew Galloway should have never been released in the first place. The biggest talent gone to waste. One of the biggest talents gone to waste in WWE history. He deserves to come back. He really, really does. Number four, Kurt Angle. He's been put into the Hall of Fame. All that's left is to let him wrestle. WWE, I have trust in you. I have trust in you. Let Kurt Angle wrestle. Kurt Angle wants to wrestle. The fans want him to wrestle. Let him. Trust me, it will be great. Number three, CM Punk. Yes, I still want CM Punk to return. I just feel like there's something missing from Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw needs the best in the world. Monday Night Raw is the flagship show. It should have the best wrestlers. So who better than the best in the world himself, CM Punk? Bring him back, but it's looking like it will never ever happen. Number two, Daniel Bryan. Look, I know you have to look from this, look at this from two different standpoints. I mean, WWE don't want to risk injuring Daniel Bryan again, but at the same time, you can tell Daniel Bryan really wants to wrestle. Like, listen to the stuff he says on Talking Smack. It's almost certain that when Daniel Bryan's WWE contract runs out, He's going to go off to New Japan or Ring of Honor or wherever. He's not going to stick around, I guarantee you. The only way to keep him sticking around is by letting him wrestle. You know, he should be wrestling The Miz at WrestleMania, not John Cena and Nikki Bella. Like, seriously. And number one, the Broken Hardys. The best characters in wrestling today. Broken Matt and Brother Freaking Nero. Their TNA contracts are done. I know they've just won the Ring of the Tag Team titles, but this is the WWE we're talking about. They will do anything. They will take the Hardys if they want to. No matter, even if they've just joined Ring of Honor, they will do it. And please do, please do it. Thank you for watching everyone. If you did enjoy, smack that like button for, um, I'll give you some chalky milk if you smack it. Yeah, 300 likes and I'll see you in the next video. Sorry for not uploading in a week. I have exams to revise for, so I'm sorry. Uploads are gonna be really slow until like June. I know that's a long way away, 
I'm sorry.